I am excited because I want to manifest um, some, you know, fuller hair for people that are experiencing, you know, hair loss, which I want to talk to you guys about a little bit, like briefly about the different phases of hair, because I think that's really important, especially a lot of people going through stress this year. I want to talk to you guys about the antigen, catagen, intelligen phases of hair. So antigen is your growing out phase, like where your hair grows faster, everything feels thicker. Catagen is the paused phase where it's just kind of sitting. And then telogen is the falling out phase where you'll like replace like 10% of your hair. So in that replacement, the first thing you do is lose. <laughs> and this whole process takes, to, um, takes like five years to happen. So you'll just be getting in a groove with your hair and then all of a sudden it'll go through telogen again and you're like, well, what? what is going on? Like, uh, which is great because it gives you opportunity to try different styles, do all this fun stuff, embrace, you know, the different stages. But I had somebody write in that was concerned about, which I think she's in her telogen phase. It may be more to it than that. There's always like a possibility that can it be, it can be more to it. But um, if she's just in her telogen phase, I wanted to help her, you know, create a style that creates more fullness in her look, um, different little tricks you can do to make your hair feel thicker, fuller, all that fun stuff. So um, that's what we're gonna focus on today. I hope you guys are excited about mm -hmm. it and excited ready to manifest some thicker looking hair. All right, let's do it. Um, I don't need that. I don't have that issue. <laughs> <laughs> that's never my issue. Um, have you felt like you wanted thicker hair sometimes? And um, like a lot of times for me, like, you know how I cut all of these like shorter mm -hmm. pieces up here. I did that because I felt like my hair was really flat at the top. Mm -hmm. Um, because my hair is typically just like really shiny sleek and it just lays as flat as it possibly can. Yeah. So I have a lot of hair, but I don't feel like I, I get the fullness that I want through the top as much. Yeah. I think most people feel that way. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I think those little you know, the backwards extension layers I always talk yeah. about. Um, I think that's a big thing for people. You won't realize um, how much just layering your hair and kind of lifting this off of down here. Mm -hmm. The trick is, is getting it right and minimal layers there that just kind of disappear. They don't really, like if you didn't search for them, you wouldn't know they were there. Right. That's the key. And so having a stylist that understands that dynamic mm -hmm. is very important to that cut because if you over layer hair and you so will lose length and it gets end. very thin yeah, so sure. it's imperative that if you're going into the reverse extension layers which do we have a blog on that um i think that we do if we don't then it would be pretty easy for us to come up with one pretty quickly yeah we maybe should think about that if um, we don't have it or maybe we could update it yeah for sure so um that's a really good trick for those of you who are feeling like your hair is looking thin is to pull some weight up here and and free it up so that you can get more volume up here so that's one little hack we're going to have a lot probably today mm -hmm. that we talk about um, um savannah's hair today is reminding me that in the blow dry how you blow dry really determines how your hair looks and if you don't blow dry it determines it as well so if you stay away from blow drying more than likely your hair is going to feel less full mm -hmm. so there's cases where it's going to change right people that have very um thick wavy hair your hair feels more full like it feels like chaos but that's not probably who we're addressing for this topic anyway so for those of you who don't blow dry don't create the fullness, don't create the lift off of the scalp. Like that's a big aspect in keeping your hair feeling more full. When you have a boar bristle brush like this, it's going to create more silky and probably a little bit more lean. So if you're decent at blow drying, you can get, you know, you can use like, I would use the triangle brush if I was looking for a more fluffy blow dry. All right, so let's talk about what what are we doing to create fullness for you the first thing i'm thinking is bigger sections mm -hmm. so i think smaller sections create a more dreaded lean look mm -hmm. versus thicker sections that build in fullness yeah and finding that right balance is going to be key to getting the look that you want i think that um lately i've been going more kind of up and out with my direction mm -hmm. too and that helps bring a lot of fullness into the like width of the curl. Yeah, I absolutely agree with that. Like that 
is one of the fullest curls when you get that angle and that rotation right and still get the curl you want so that you don't overdo like um, I got a little a curly at the bottom there. Yeah. So what I would do, so I didn't get enough curl at the top. This is what typically happens to me if I start to take large sections. Yeah. What? I get in, I not don't enough fullness. Get a, I don't get enough at the top and I get too much at the bottom. Mm -hmm. I think it's just because I'm not used to taking really big sections. Yeah. And so I just have to play around with my ankle a little bit more. Yeah. And the other thing is, is your speed. You'd have to really increase because your layers drop off so much towards the end. So yeah, you'd have to true. increase your speed so that you're not over curling that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cause see how And then separate, so. the, but separate that. Yeah, exactly. My hair kind of, um, if I separate it, it goes back together really quickly. Yeah, I know something about that. <laughs> Mine too. So what I would probably do- But then if you have it separated, then you have a piece to pull later that you could just touch up yeah, at the top. I was gonna say, yeah. I'll just take out a tiny piece so of it and do a little bit. I think that. a big part of you in taking a big section is that you have so much here Le and then layers. your layers. So what you end up doing is taking like such a long section mm -hmm. that you're like taking out your ability to have it full up here. So for you, I would be really don't, so I would be thicker, really not longer, right? I would do thicker underneath and then I would do like the medium size up top to like build it out. Yeah. So you're creating like the girth underneath and then you're creating the fullness up top. That makes sense. The movement and fullness up top. Yeah. So, but, you know, trying to research things that promote hair go growth, when you start sensing that telogen phase, be like, okay, I'm in my telogen phase. I normally lose 100 hairs a day. Now I'm going to lose a whole lot more. And that's great. It gives me an opportunity to release old energy and yeah. <laughs> replace it with new, which is great. And if you do good scalp massages during that time and you promote ha hair growth, really get into your scalp when you're brushing, like just brush your scalp kind of aggressively because what happens is when your skin, body, whatever feels under attack, it will do what it can. Kind of like, you know those rollers that people do on their face and it mm -hmm. promotes collagen? Same idea, but for your hair. So what you're doing is looking to like make this, hair feel like oh i need to protect myself kind of is what you need to do but not in fear and stress in like a growth kind of way mm -hmm. so all right let's talk about your curls Ooh, that's a pretty look you've got mm -hmm. going that's really pretty thank you yeah so um for the type of I, I think that with the curtain bang it's hard to try to get volume right in the mm -hmm. front here so i focus more on creating the volume in the back mm -hmm. and then in the front i really elongate it yeah, I think that's a really good um, way to get a current look with fullness and mm -hmm. not go Farah or too you know yeah. old, old school. Um, it's it's a really current way to get volume. So concentrating right here for your volume. Mm -hmm. yeah. So these pieces are where you want to focus on. So you get thick, fuller pieces down here. You get slow roll up here. <laughs> yeah. So when you start curling slow roll when you put your iron in slowly rotate mm -hmm. then start traveling forward okay. and i usually would have broken up my curls by now but i'm letting them sit because i want them to have as Stay much volume as, as possible uh -huh. yeah yep so at the end it's not going to look exactly like this because i'm going to pull them out and make them a little I bit more natural right now i almost don't want you to touch them. really oh yeah oh, that's good. let me see i don't know if i could not touch my hair all day oh though. yeah you <laughs> well you will it, yeah i would agree you'll probably have to do some stuff shuffling with it okay so let's talk about left side do you see how savannah is really going in and i was going to say going slow right there but she didn't because that's her <laughs> my face, frame, frame, I don't face frame where you're really trying to keep healthy um but like up here, just really going nice and slow as she takes this section, right? Mm -hmm. You go in, close, and slowly rotate, slowly start moving. So normally I want you guys to go forward with it because it's the easiest, but when you're really trying to promote fullness and curl, rotate and then come up and out because that is going to give you your best you know, fullness curl versus coming forward, which gives you, see the difference? Mm -hmm. Fullness curl. That's what you're creating in your difference in your movement, up and out versus forward. So you can see um, that the curl starts 
you know, right through this area, mm-hmm. which is what's going to give you like kind of the most amount of lift. Yeah. Um, I think I'm pretty happy with how it came out. Yeah. I like that. Lots of fullness in it. Yeah. This side less feels less full. Let's see if when she finger combs through it, what happens? Yeah. And my, my angle might have been a little different on this yeah, side. Yeah. Cause too, I was cause... in the way. I was looking over here and oh doing yeah, that's true stuff. Okay, let's see. Maybe if we got a bigger phone, we'd have to see this. <laughs> yeah, just kidding. An iPad. It's just a joke. <laughs> we know the camera lens doesn't. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, that's looking good. So let's talk about what do you do from here. So first, let's talk about this. Would be a big part of prepping your hair. For those of you out there with upstage, make sure you put it in before you blow dry or air dry before you curl because it's just very good at building out a style, but keeping the hair looking silky as it does Mm -hmm. that, I think is a big, that's a big balance for a lot of people to strike is the right amount of fluffy and not the wrong amount. Um, so next, after you go in with upstage, you've got it built, you've got your style done, you've got your style built, what next? So if you're in that phase where you're like, oh, I still want more volume here, a great solution is putting in a dry powder. Um, putting in big time is so key to keeping a look big. Are you in the mood to use sure. big time today? Yeah. Okay, great. Let's do one side with big time and show, first we'll show scalp and then we'll show lift in the hair. Okay. Um, just to show the difference. So let's go in, we'll spray right at our scalp what was that, two squirts or three? Two, because the first one I missed. <laughs> okay, so two. <laughs> okay, great. So you can see how, what that does is it kind of, what oh, big oh time God. does. <laughs> yeah, right? So if your hair is feeling lacking, look at what you can do with just spraying a little of the right product and, and, and building it up. you do like the shampoo motion at your scalp. Yes. So now, what we're all thinking is her hair is really full right here, but not as full down here. Mm-hmm. So let's see what big time does to help that. And then we'll find the balance in it all. So, so I want you to really lift and let it spray as you're coming into it. So I want you to spray up into it. Yeah. Make sure you're getting the ends. It's a weird angle. You really use the mirror. Use the camera. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, nobody can see what you're doing over there. <laughs> Just you. I'm um, put that mirror down. Basically, next time. I did this. <laughs> there you go. Okay, perfect. So now you can do this. You're like shuffle, 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 shuffle. Yeah, shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. So what that does is helps kind of create like organic looking clumps. You want the right amount of clump. I wish I had another word for it. I don't. Gathering, grouping, connection, mm-hmm. right amount of connection, out of connection. So you're wanting to create like contact points that are kind of out of place for it. So it, instead of falling where it naturally falls, you want it to go like cross, 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 and you want it to kind of build on each other. So that's what you're doing by like creating little connection. You know, like Matthew McConaughey in the car. That's this what you want to do. Huge. <laughs> but I'm actually really into it. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so look at the difference. So for those of you who are intelligent phase, Look at what you can do just mm-hmm. by the right. That's just one product. That's, that's all one product, that it took. And I think I did five sprays total. Did you really? How many? Two at the top. And yeah. then I did three throughout here. That was three when you were in the mirror? I'm pretty sure, yeah. And then one extra when you were showing everybody? No, I pretended then. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So look at what the right placement of one product can do to make you feel like I'm, I'm okay with the intelligent face. And it's still so touchable. Like I can still rub my fingers through my hair. It's not like hairspray where you get, it's sticky mm-hmm. or like you can't run your fingers through it or you feel like if you touch it, it's going to fall. Like yeah. you can still play with this. And one thing I love about Big Time is that you can reactivate it throughout the day too. Yes. So if it does start to like fall throughout the day as, as things do whenever you go outside and it's windy and snowing and stuff, if you just go back in and do the shampoo movement with your hair, with your hands again, you can reactivate the product. Yep. So. And you can recreate those contact points again. Yeah. I really like contact paint. I just really like, I've been looking for that for years. Mm-hmm. I'm contact so happy paint. that came to us. So I hope this will help you guys manifest, you know, feeling like when I'm going through these different phases that I now know about, like just embrace them and like I can make adjustments. Okay. So when I have full hair, maybe I don't want it as full and I can make adjustments when I have 
lean, my hair's in a thinning stage or, you know, whatever has happened, like, let's just build it out, fake it till you make it, and then it will grow again because your hair will come again. It will. Like, it's what it does. It comes and your whole life. Just treat it gently, I think, during that time period, too. Like, And I'm different. I think treat your hair gently, treat, treat your scalp harsh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For right? sure. Yeah. Yeah. I'm thinking about just what I'm making sure I'm doing with mm -hmm. my ends of all of my layers and I'm wanting to grow out and like my friends, just making sure that those ends stay nice and yeah. strong. The least amount of heat, the le least amount of dehydration around the face frame or mm -hmm. where it's fragile or where it's, you know, not growing in as healthy. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, thank you everybody for coming. Um, we hope you guys are staying calm in all the energy that's floating around our universe right now. Think about all the things you want to manifest in your life and don't think about all the other nonsense. Try not to focus on it. Even if it's just for a day or two, like put it out. Thank you for joining me on Facebook. I know social media is a little hard place to be right now <laughs> for some people. So, all right. Um, we hope we're a reprieve from the tension in the world. Yeah. Okay, so hopefully you guys are faring the storm really well. <laughs> the storm of energy that's floating around our world right now. Okay, we're going to get through it together. We are un united as one, everybody. <laughs> Stay together, manifest what you want. Bye. Bye. Bye.